Welcome, Welcome to, to Omega! Omega! Woo! Alright, just like in the beginning of the day when we had our Alpha, we're having our Omega now. Why? Because Alpha is the beginning of the of Greek alphabet, and Omega is the end of the Greek alphabet. And Paul calls God the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. So today we're going to wrap up our uh, day with a little Omega. So Tessa, what song are we going to sing today? Let's sing Father Abraham to go along with our Bible stories for us? today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. And it's going to go into the part goes, right arm, and then keep doing that body part stuff, but then we're going to go right into the next uh so we're going to keep singing again. So we're going to go, Father Abraham and many sons, and many sons have Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, and it's going to go, Father Abraham and many sons, and many sons have Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. And then we're going to keep adding body parts until the very end. So you guys ready to sing with us? Yeah. Perfect. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right on, Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right on, left on, Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right leg, Father Abraham, and many sons, and many sons have Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, Father Abraham, and many sons, and many sons have Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, Father Abraham, and many sons. And I'm one of them, so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Left arm, right leg, left leg, left leg, head, body. I'm one of them, so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Now we're going to do an invocation. So, um, does, do you guys remember what an invocation is? An invocation is inviting God into our worship, but also preparing our hearts, our minds, and our souls for worship. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the heart, mind, and soul invocation. And so Jesus, uh, no, God the Father is our heart. And so we're going to say in the name of the Father and focus on our heart a little bit. Focus on why we love God. And then we're going to go in the name of the Son, and the Son is our mind, and He is just always on our mind, and we'll just think about that. And then we're going to say, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and that is our soul, and we will see and think about how the Holy Spirit has moved through us and done some great things. All right, let us invoke, in the name of the Father. And the sun, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now we're gonna sing a song called "Every Move I Make," and we're gonna teach it to you. All right, it goes like this: Every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every step I take, I take in you. Woohoo! Every step I take, I take in you. Woohoo! Every move I make, I make in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Woohoo! Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Woohoo! Waves of mercy, waves of grace, waves of 
I'm going to read you a little story. Just close your eyes and listen to it. A water bearer in India had two large pots, each hung on end of a pole when he carried across his neck. One of the pots had a crack in it, and while the other pot was perfect and always delivered a full portion of water at the end of the long walk from the stream to the master's house, the crack pot arrived only half full. For a full two years, this went on daily, with the bearer delivering only one half pots full of water for his master's house. Of course, the perfect pro was proud of its accomplishments, perfect to the end for which it was made. But the poor cracked pot was ashamed of its own imperfection and miserable that it was only able to accomplish half of what it had been made to do. For after two years, what it perceived to be bitter failure, it spoke to the water bearer one day by the stream. I am ashamed of myself and I want to apologize to you. Why, asked the bearer, why are you ashamed? I've been able for these past two years to deliver only half of my load because of this crack in my side causes water to leak out all the way back to your master's house. Because of my flaws, you have to do all this work and you don't get full value from your efforts, the pot said. The water bearer felt sorry for the old cracked pot and in his compassion, he said, as we return to the master's house, I want you to notice the beautiful flowers along the path. Indeed, as they went up the hill, the old cracked pot took notice of the sun warming the beautiful wildflowers on the side of the path, and this cheered it some. But at the end of the trail, it still felt bad because it had leaked out half its load, and so again it apologized to the bearer for its failure. The bearer said to the pot, Did you notice that the flowers only were on your side of the path, but not the other pot's side? That's because I have always known about your flaw, and I took advantage of it. I planted flower seeds on your side side of the path and every day while we walk past the stream you've watered them. For two years I have been able to pick these beautiful flowers to decorate my master's table. Without you being just the way you are would have not get this beauty to grace his house. And so each of us have our own unique flaws. We are all cracked pots but if we allow it the Lord will use our flaws to grace his father's table. In God's great economy nothing goes to waste. So as we seek ways to minister together, and as God calls you to the tasks he has appointed for you, do not be afraid of your flaws. Acknowledge them and allow him to take advantage of them. And you too can cause of the beauty in his pathway. Go out boldly, knowing that in our weakness, he will find strength. And that in him, everyone in God's promise is a yes. Okay, I'm gonna read a little bit out of the Bible to go along with the story that we heard. So this is from Romans 5. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand, and we confidently and joyfully look forward to, see, to sharing God's glory. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance and endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Now, most people would not be willing to die for an upright person, though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good. But God showed his great love by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Okay. So now we're gonna do a prayer, and this is called the bubblegum prayer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out your favorite stick of bubblegum or whatever kind of gum that you like. You're gonna unwrap it, pop it in your mouth, behind your mask, and you're gonna chew it. And as you're chewing it, you're gonna blow this really nice, this big bubble. And as you, as you get done praying, when we're all done, we're gonna pop the bubble and say, amen. And then God will know what we're praying for through our bubble. All right, so take out your bubble gum, unwrap it, stick it in your mouth and start praying. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh.
gonna slow things down a little bit now. Uh, we're gonna sing a song called Thank You For Loving Me, just to thank God for everything he's done for us. So, the song's gonna start like this. I'm gonna sing a line, and I want you guys to sing it back, okay? So, thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Hear that? Thank you thank for you loving me. me. Thank, thank you for loving me. me. Thank you for loving me. And thank you for loving me. Thank you for What's gonna happen is we're gonna sing thank you for loving me, thank you for teaching me, thank you for saving me, and at the very end of the song we're gonna say thank you for loving, thank you for teaching, thank you for saving, and thank you for loving me. Okay. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for saving 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 me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for teaching. 